Hey everybody, what's up? This is Game and Soy, and welcome to Robo Mania 8. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry, sorry, I had to do that, everybody. But it's been a long while. I've been doing some some stuff lately. Uh, I've posted my Discord. If you guys are a part of that, I got in a car accident. All this fun stuff, so I've been dealing with that. So hopefully, I'll get back at a somewhat reasonable schedule on Robomania. Still shooting for like once every two weeks. There's a lot of editing that I have to put into this. So sometimes it's uh, pretty difficult, but I'll find a way. Don't worry about that, guys. But I'm back, and Robomania is back as well. We are at Robomania 8, and this is a fantastic card, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said, let's talk about what has changed this season. So, as of the ranking system, the whole thing has been thrown in a loop. Now, we have different weight classes now. We have a heavyweight, a middleweight, and a lightweight. Uh, in Robomania, those are the weight classes that are there, and I'm going to be trying to stick to that. So, if you guys are uploading any sorts of robots, remember, whatever weight class they are is what their is what their actual weight is going to be so they're going to be thrown into that weight class so right now i only have a heavyweight and a middleweight there's like one robot on my lightweight <laughs> so none of that's going to be being used right now but we do have a few fights for middleweight in this episode and the rest are going to all be heavyweight as you can see the heavyweight has been re-ranked there's only going to be a top 15 one being the champion which is hammerhead right now Two is the number one contender. This might change over time, keep in mind uh, how I'm doing all this, but right now this is how it's going to be standing, and the rankings are up to date right now, so I'm excited for this. Uh, we got some pretty, pretty elite robots up here, and uh, some robots are definitely going to be falling off eventually. Uh, like I said, I think I'm going to be moving the boxer down to middleweight. I think that's the best spot for it, but we'll, we'll talk all about that all later. Uh, let's take a look at the middleweight rankings. As you can see, I only have 11 robots in the middleweight, which brings up another topic. I have an open submission right now in my Discord. If you upload a middleweight robot, it might have a chance to be thrown into a tournament, and that tournament is gonna, the winner of that tournament is gonna fight the number one ranked robot, whatever it is at the time, in middleweight for the championship. So I'm looking forward to that. Wow, let's let's just uh, jump into this episode, I suppose, with our first fight, which is Stingray versus All In. This is an interesting fight. These are a, this is a heavyweight bout, and uh, both robots are 0 and 2, which means they've lost both fights that uh, all four of them have fought in. So there's four fights total. They've lost all of them from the very beginning. Stingray, as you can see, has a new new look. It used to be a middleweight robot. Now it's a heavyweight. And it has a, a huge change, All In. Everybody hates All In for some for some reason. I've been seeing a lot of comments about how All In is very overrated. And this is a true test right here to see if it is overrated or not. So All In is trying to do some damage, just backing up. Hit against a wall while Stingray is in complete control right now. Just pushing it, it up against the middle wall where the spinner is. 30 seconds has passed and right now it looks like Stingray is in a good position. All is trying to get away from this. It's it's getting poked, it's getting thrown around. There's not much it can do right now but back up. And when a robot is backing up, that is one of the the signs that it's not doing so good. As you can see, it just lost a wheel. Ooh. It does have six wheels altogether. Now it has five. It's taken some significant damage to that left side of the chassis, however. The spinning disc has been released in the center of the arena. So this should be pretty interesting to see. Stingray is a, a unique design. It's kind of a larger design of Chappie, which is a uh, fan favorite over there and the middleweight division. But it's going to be an interesting robot to watch progress over time. Just, it definitely, both robots need a win. They definitely need a win in order to stay in Robo Robomania. And uh, it's not looking good for All In right now. Smoking from the left side. And Stingray is in control. Preferably would like to get a knockout win. But it looks like it might be shooting for a TKO win at this point. A lot of people have been questioning what TKO means. 
it's essentially a mobilization. A mobilization, I just came up with a new, not a new word, but a new term for it, TKO. Remember that, everybody. TKO. Technical Knockout. Uh, which, in my opinion, is a immobilization compared to a knockout, which is destruction of another robot. But as we can see, All In still hasn't really pushed forward yet in this fight. With only 40 seconds left, the flippers are activated, and Stingray is just... It keeps pushing forward. It's not a fast robot, however. Stingray. It's kind of pushing. All In is having a hard time pushing forward right now. Getting very close to those flippers. Barely missed those. We got 18 seconds left in the match. This one looks like it's going to a decision unless Stingray can do something. It looks like Stingray might win this fight if it goes to a decision. I haven't seen much. Almost on the flipper. Oh, flipper did not activate. There goes the other wheel with four seconds left. Ooh. Very interesting. I think this one is going to be a unanimous decision for Stingray. But let's take a look at these replays. All In loses two of its six wheels in the whole fight itself. And uh, I think that just showed how, how much of control Stingray had in this entire fight. It just looks like All In couldn't really do anything. It might be an overrated robot. There goes the second wheel. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, in my opinion, this was a fairly easy fight to call. We're waiting for the judges' responses right here. And there they are, the winner by unanimous decision, Stingray, with a 30 to 26 by two judges and a 30 to 27 by one judge. An interesting fight, I would have to say, but Stingray goes to one and two while All In drops to 0 and three, still no wins. The next fight, the Penetrator 2 versus IRH, another bout between an 0 and two, two 0 and two robots. However, this one is in the middleweight division. This is going to be an interesting fight right here. We got a, a penis versus a green little flipping slash smashing robot. So it's going to be a fairly interesting fight in my opinion. Both robots kind of doing... Not... Oh, 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 oh. oh wow. The penetrator is actually flipped upright. It's a stiff wiener right now. Look at that stiff wiener standing right up. IRH lets it down and throws it back over. Oh, oh, but the Penetrator backs up and flips over IRH. Both robots flip right now. Penetrator is mobile, is, uh, they can work upside down. These robots are flipping everywhere. Both robots are now back up where they are supposed to be on, our, on their wheels. And the Penetrator is trying to do some damage to the front of the chassis. While IRH has done some damage to the top of the Penetrator. Just a missed, oh, barely missed, but then countered with two hits right after that. The Penetrator has some significant damage on the top of its chassis right now. IRH pushing up. Getting some pretty good hits. They back away from each other and then they push back together. Interesting designs right here. Both these robots, they have to make a statement in this middleweight division. This middleweight division is completely open right now. Oh, flips somehow. The penetrator just got flipped over by like gravity or something. But like I was saying, this middleweight division is wide open right now. Therefore, if a robot wins like three fights in a row, two fights even, it can be up in the top five and could have a serious chance of becoming the champion if it, go if it puts on a good winning streak. The Penetrator is trying to do everything it can right now, but I don't think... It's trying. It's really trying hard. Oh, barely misses with that hit. This is a very evenly fought match right now. I would have to say, unless it has goes to another judge's decision, I don't see there being a finish. There ha the Hazards have to take control of this fight. Both robots don't have the knockout power. However, they do have the TKO power. If uh, the Penetrator flips over IRH, that could be the game ending right there. A pretty good hit. Oh, misses right there. Penetrator gets a good hit from behind. Right in the back of IRH. It's trying to do, it's doing everything. We got 13 seconds left in the fight. 
Another big hit by the Penetrator. Can the Penetrator finish this fight off nice, nicely? Let's see. Got three seconds, two, one, and another big hit. It did. It's going to a judge's decision, however. But first, let's take a look at these replays. The Penetrator flips over IRH while driving backwards. That was a really good play. And then there's some good hits right there by IRH. Doing some significant damage to the top of the chassis. A good hit from behind by the Penetrator. That was a good fight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited to see what the judges' decisions are. And we are waiting for them right now. The winner by split decision. The Penetrator 2 wins it. Interesting. Split decision. I did not expect that one at all. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, the controversy might be arising right now, but the Penetrator wins. It's first win right there by Judge's decision. IRH drops to 0 and 3. Still winless throughout its career. Interesting, interesting little fights right there. Uh, those are our first two fights of Robomania 8, but halfway through this, if you guys are enjoying this, I put a lot of work into this, so if you're liking it, don't forget to rate it. Like or dislike, just let me know what I'm doing wrong or right, and that's all I really care about. So thank you guys, and also if you need to upload any of your robots, if you have a robot that you're dying to have, it must be stock and it must have no like any sort of cheats in it. But other than that, it most likely will be in Robomania. So if you guys upload a robot, uh, you'll be seeing it in the near future. But let's jump into our next fight, King Krabby versus Sentinel. An 0-1 King Krabby going up against a 1-2 Sentinel. This is a good fight. Two flippers. A two-flipper fight. King Krabby goes up to Sentinel, flips it. Oh, almost flips it. Then flips it out of the arena right away. That'll do it. Eliminations. That was really fast. That was an 8 second long fight. That might have been a record, actually. I might have to look back on the history of Robomania, but look at it flip right out the arena. That might have been a record. A Robomania record on the fastest finish. King Krabby moves to 1-1, one one, while Sentinel drops to 1-3. Interesting fight right there. Our next fight coming up is with a middleweight bout. It's going to be between Debatza and Dementia. Right here, the 8 ranked in the middleweight versus the 10 ranked. This is an 0-1 robot versus an 0-2. So both of these robots are looking for their first win. And right from the beginning, Dementia charges but misses. While Debatsa is actually getting some good hits on the right side of the wheels. It could be ripping one of those wheels off and cause the movement of Dementia to be very hard. However, it does have four wheels, so who knows what will happen. They're spinning in circles right now. The cameraman had to stop it. <laughs> Jesus. Look at that dent in the front of Dementia. It's the front right side. It's a huge dent. And like I said, this whole fight is leading up to the main event. Coal Miner versus Spider. This should be an amazing fight. The winner of that will fight Hammerhead for the title of the heavyweight championship. So that will be an interesting one to see. There's smoke coming out of the front right wheel. Ooh, but Dementia slams Debatza against the wall. Can it get another slam? It's pushing. It's in control. It pushes it against the center wall. Can it push it against the disc? It can. But Dementia looks like got the, the worst of the damage out of that. Smoke is still emitting from Dementia. And Debatza just is aiming for that front right tire. It'll, it'll eventually come off, but... It doesn't look like it can do much right now. Dementia is trying to get that right. Oh, there goes the wheel, actually. And now it's aiming for that back right wheel, but I don't know if it can reach it from there. Dementia tries to get that quick scoop, but failed to do so. Spinning in circles again. Can that wheel come off? Oh, it was close. It was close. Dementia is fighting for its life right now. Doesn't want to drop to 0-3, but there goes the other wheel. Debatza is in control. However, all Dementia can do right now is spin. It only has two left wheels. That's like having two left feet right there. You cannot, you cannot do anything with that. There's not going to be any good movement from Dementia for the rest of this fight. There's a flip from the Farina Flipper that just hit a minute. Dementia is now on its back. Gets flipped over, however. Has a nice self-writing. 
There's some significant damage done to Dementia. Flips again, but lands on its wheels. Debata is controlling this fight right now. Can it get the finish? And I think it just did, actually. 39 seconds left in the fight. Debata wins by knockout. The first actual finish of Robomania 8. That was interesting to see. Comes from the middleweight bout between Debata and Dementia. There were some good fights in this. Good moves in this little fight right here. As you can see, that wheel rips off. And that was what changed it. There goes the second wheel. That was what changed the momentum of the fight. Dementia getting flipped. And Debata capitalizing on the whole entire thing. There was the final blow right there. And Debata moves to 1-1. One one, going up in the middleweight rankings. That should be pretty interesting to see actually. So, for our last fight of the prelims. We got Forky. The 2 and one Ooh, my, my chair just squeaked. Don't mind that. But we got Forky, the 2 and one robot, going up against Zoid, the 1-no robot. Let's get right into it. Forky, like I said, 2 and one This is going to be an interesting fight. I, I believe that the robot that wins this is going to have a good chance at finding a top 15 opponent and uh, to see if they take their place. They hit heads right from the beginning, and Zoid almost gets flipped over. Well, we're kind of balancing on top of Forky. Forky's now pushing. It has that one weapon besides his flipper. Zoid has just the ramming. It has those two axes right in front. Zoid is pushed up against the wall, being mounted right now, essentially. Zoid pushes. Oh, tries to get a reversal, but cannot do it. And now they are. Oh, Zoid's trying. Ooh, Zoid hit the middle wall. If that wall wasn't there, Zoid would have uh, almost done something. But Zoid gets flipped up against the wall right there. Oh, it's getting pinned. Zoid is being pinned by Forky, but jumps on top of Forky. That was a nice reversal by Zoid, actually. Forky's trying to do everything it can to get on top of this fight. Trying to flip Zoid over. If it flips it over, like it's doing right now. That actually might do it. I don't think Zoid can get out of this position right here. Uh oh. Zoid has to do something right here. Forky's winning this fight right now. I think that is it. There's a countdown happening right now and I think that is for Zoid. And that'll do it. Forky, winner by TKO, moves on to 3 and 1. Let's take a look at these replays in Forky's possession. Look at those flips right there, just controlling Zoid. Zoid actually flips, not flips, but holds Forky over. And Forky, after that, just started pinning against the wall. And that was his best strategy right there against a robot like Zoid. And uh, it just nudges Zoid to get the victory by TKO. Interesting fight. Forky might be fighting a top 15 opponent in the near future. But with that being said, let's take a look at our main card. We got an outstanding main card coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Starting out with a 2-2 two two White Widow going up against a 1-0 Heart Attack. And a 2-0 number 14 ranked Yurigano going up against 2-0 Bella. These are going to be two vicious robots fighting each other. They're very similar on how they fight. And I'm excited for that. They both haven't lost either. And uh, in our middleweight bout, we got the number one ranked King Hazard, a 4 and 2 robot, going up against a fan favorite 3 and 3 Chappie. That is going to be an interesting fight as well. And for our co main event, we got the number six Rip Blade going up against the number eight Bandit. Bandit is trying to come off. It lost to Hammerhead in the championship fight. And now it is trying to make its way back up to the top. While Rip Blade is just trying to stay where it is. It's been a bumpy ride for Ripblade. But all of this will lead up to our main event, which is the number two spider going up against the number three coal miner. This fight is what it's all about. The winner of this fight is going to be fighting Hammerhead, and the winner of that will be the champion, so I'm excited. But without further ado, let's jump into our first main card fight, which is between White Widow and Heart Attack. So White Widow's last fight was a, a win versus Foxtrot, while Heart Attacks was a win versus MGZ. Both these robots are coming off of a win. 
I'm excited. From the very beginning, Heart Attack is trying to jump up against White Widow. Those weapons are intense. There goes right from the beginning a weapon off of White Widow, but it has so many weapons it doesn't really matter. Uh, Heart Attack is just trying to pin. The, this robot, White Widow, is extremely heavy. <laughs> it is the heaviest robot in Robomania. And uh, it's hard for robots to, to push it, but Heart Attack is not having a problem at all right now. White Widow is just trying to do some damage, but it loses another weapon. It only has four left, and two of those weapons aren't the strongest. Heart Attack is in a little bit of control right now with this fight. White Widow getting pushed up against the wall. Ooh, it's getting chewed up by those weapons on Heart Attack. Those weapons are intense. Let me tell you, I, lo I love, absolutely love Heart Attack. Heart Attack is an outstanding robot, and I don't think there's going to be a lot of robots that could fight off against Hammerhead. I just said Hammerhead, I meant Heart Attack. What am I talking about? But there's another push, and uh, it's just looking, not looking so good for White Widow right now. White Widow has to aim for those wheels or something, but Heart Attack is so much faster. Heart Attack is one of the best... Uh, prospects in Robomania thus far, I would have to say, besides Uragano, who we're going to be seeing in the next fight, and Bella, which is also in the next fight. They're fighting each other. Oh, a huge hit pushes into the spinning disc. Heart attack just drove itself into the spinning disc for some reason. And there's only one weapon left for a White Widow. But it actually manages to take off one of the scoopers. There's a minute left in the fight. This is going to be interesting to see right here. Oh, a huge hit from Art Attack. Flips White Widow across the arena. Oh, no. Another flip. There it goes. White Widow getting hurt right now. And getting pushed one more time. Can it do it? They flipped. They both flipped upside down. They both landed at the same time, it looks like. Oh no. What is happening? What is happening right now, ladies and gentlemen? I'm so confused. Oh, this is going to be a finish for somebody. Definitely a finish for somebody. We're going to have to see who stopped moving. Who is the last person to move. Whoa. I did not expect something like that to happen at that fight. But here we go. Heart attack was in control this whole fight. There was no no opinions or no uh, fighting from White Widow that much. Besides a few hits, heart attack was controlling this whole thing. It actually drove itself into the spinning disc for some reason. But right here, there's there's a flip that's going to be happening. Look at that huge hit right there on the side, right side of White Widow. Flips him over. Ooh, what a good hit. That was a good play. Here's another flip, I believe. Yep. And uh, this is the final flip right here coming up. Let's see who's the last person moving. They both flip over. Oh, it looks like White Widow actually stopped moving. It was the last robot moving. Oh my. We're going to have to talk to the judges real fast. That was... I don't even know what to say after that. Alright, well, I just learned right now that... White Widow was the last robot moving, however, since it got flipped upside down, uh, both robots got flipped upside down actually, the robot that won that fight was White Widow because it was the last one sliding. That is an interesting decision, we're going to have to see a rematch between those robots. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see a rematch, but that win by TKO is going to White Widow, who raises to 3-2, and two, while Heart Attack gets its first loss in its career. Oh, that was a weird fight. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. I would love to see a rematch, but there's nothing we can do about that after now. Let's jump into our next fight, which is between Irigano and Bella. The ranked 14 robot Irigano won its last fight via, via knockout against Raptor, while the last fight for Bella was a win by TKO versus D Sector. This is going to be an intense fight. Look at how similar these robots are to each other. Irigano is just a scary robot. Bella is a pretty terrifying robot as well, actually. It's been uh, one of the surprises of the season. 
Let's see here. Both the robots are kind of just pushing each other right now. It's kind of a stalemate. They, they want to get the perfect hit. Both robots, it looks like that front right spike of Yorgano is just pushing the front right wheel of Bella. Bella's trying to get to the, the, a good angle. Well, it looks like Yorgano's kind of stuck. This is an interesting little little thing going on right now. The first hit's going to de determine who wins this fight, though. There goes the wheel, but that didn't have any motors attached to it from Bella. Oh, Bella almost got a hit right there. Yorgano is trying its best. Oh, there's a little stumble by Bella. And now there's smoke coming out of Bella. Uh-oh, this might be it for Bella right here. It doesn't take a lot. Yorgano backs up, and that's a huge hit on Bella. Oh, it's flipped upside down, and it's getting demolished. It hits the spinning disc up against the wheels, and did the disc again. It lost two of its wheels, and it is smoking. Flipped on its back once again. Oh my goodness, Yorgano wins by knockout. What a fight. Oh, that was such a good performance by Yorgano. Take a look at these hits right here. Bang. And I think it gets another going. Bang. And it's going to hit the spinning disc onto Yorgano. I think it hits the spinning disc one more time. Oh. Oh my goodness. Watch this hit right here. Boom. A huge hit from Yorgano onto Bella. Flips it over and just takes a huge hit. Yorgano moves to three. And oh, it's probably moving up in the rankings as well. That is a scary robot right there. Wow. I would love to see that robot go, go, uh, go up against a top 10 robot. Jesus. Let's. I don't even know what to say after that. But let's jump into our next fight, which is between the two middleweight contenders, King Hazard and Chappie. This is a good fight right here. King Hazard won its last fight via decision, a unanimous decision against Double Cut, who is actually a heavyweight. Wow. Chappie lost versus a heavyweight backyard ripper by Ki KO. I almost said Keo. But here we go. A spinner versus a poker. This should be an interesting fight. King Hazard is getting poked up from the very beginning. Oh no. Chappie is controlling King Hazard. Look at that dent. Look at the wheel fly off. King Hazard. A lot of people are kind of bummed that King Hazard uh, had to go back to stock. It's not the original King Hazard, but it's a pretty good robot still. King Hazard actually hit off the poker weapon of Chappie, so now... Chappie doesn't have any weapons. King Hazard can actually win this fight if it does some damage. But it looks like Chappie is just controlling King Hazard right now. Pushes up against the wall. And almost flips King Hazard over. Chappie, however, is staying with its aggression and just trying to control King Hazard throughout this fight. We got five seconds until the wall drops down, releasing the spinning disc, and it looks like somebody's going to be affected by it. King Hazard takes a couple hits. But so does Chappie, actually. Both robots have some significant damage done to him themselves. King Hazard, I believe, is smoking, too. Is that coming from King Hazard? Into the spinning disc again! But Chappie's also getting hurt, too. I think both these robots can only take one more hit. Chappie's pushing King Hazard against the wall. Now keep in mind, everybody, King Hazard only has one wheel. I don't know if it can actually move. Oh no. It definitely cannot move right now. King Hazard's trying to. It's not though. I think that's going to be it. Chappie wins by TKO. Wow. Taking off that wheel was one of the most significant parts of the fight for Chappie. It just stayed aggressive and I think that's what, that's what won it. It's fight. As you can see, Chappie's pushing up against the wall. This was a significant hit right here where it pushes off the wheel. There it goes flying. And that was an interesting fight in my opinion. Both these robots uh, have a, the potential of being the middleweight champion. But as of now, King Hazard just lost to Chappie, which means Chappie's moving up in the rankings. Possibly to the number one contender. So this is going to be an interesting... An interesting week to see what's going to happen to the ranking system. But there was some significant hits. This was a very close fight, actually. It's just Chappie had both of its wheels, and it stayed in control the whole entire fight, which led King Hazard to lose. What a fight. What an absolute fight right there. 
But without further ado, let's jump into our co-main event, which is between Ripley and Bandit. This is the six versus eight seed robots, and these robots are fighting to get into the top five. You want to be in the top five in order to have a, uh, a championship contending fight. So without further ado, let's see how this happens. Bandit has that terrifying spinning blade, but so does Ripley, which actually just got ripped off. Ripley does not have a weapon anymore. Uh-oh. All Bandit has to do now is just chew away, and it might be over within a couple minutes. But let's see what happens. Ripley is a, a good robot. It, it's a very good robot, but Bandit is a very, very good robot. I actually had an upgrade recently, getting those two back little pokers. I don't know if you can see them, but uh, prevents robots from flipping Bandit over as easily. Ooh, there goes a wheel. It just ripped it off. Look at that wheel flop around in the background. That was a dirty move by Bandit. Ripley is now getting chewed up from behind. It does not have enough momentum for anything to even fight right now. It's missing its wheel and it's missing its weapon. Oh, Bandit. Bandit's in control right now. With some serious hits on the back of Ripley. I don't know if there's much it can do. Oh, there's a huge hit taking off the right front wheel of Ripley. But Bandit looks like it's stuck right now. Is it stuck? I don't even know. It is stuck. Ripley doesn't have any wheels or anything. It's moving a little bit. There might be a countdown. Oh, it started up its weapon again. And it is moving. Man, it's trying to get some big hits. Ooh, there was a pretty big hit. Man, it looks like it's mounted again on top of some sort of debris. Ripley is uh, just trying to move at this point. I don't think it can. Somebody got counted out, and it actually, there we go. Ripley was counted out for being immobilized, so there is a TKO win for Bandit against Ripley. Ripley might find itself in the top 10 still, but Bandit might find its way in the top 5. So that's an interesting little fight right there. That's the co-main event. Look at this hit right here. Rips off that front part of Ripley. And just stayed in control of that fight the whole entire time. Just trying to chew off every little bit of Ripley. What a good fight right there. Alright, well, I guess that, that leaves us for one final fight right here and that is going to be between spider and coal miner the winner of this fight keep in mind is going to be fight be fighting hammerhead for the championship the heavyweight championship without no further ado ladies and gentlemen let's jump right into it spider the number two ranked four and one robot going up against the number three ten and four coal miner both robots coming off of a ko win Spiders is coming off in a very impressive win versus Emergency, while Coal Miner coming off one of Backyard Ripper. They hit each other at the very beginning. Coal Miner gets flipped on its back. It's mounted upright against the wall. This is going to be an interesting styles, of clashing of styles. Both these robots are significantly different from each other. And uh, Spiders do some damage to the, the left chassis. But now it's underneath Coal Miner. Coal Miner gets those spinning discs going. It could do some damage underneath Spider. Coal Miner backs up. They both meet head on right now. A big hit. Spider flips over Coal Miner partially. And now Coal Miner stuck up against the wall. Spider needs to get some good flips going. Something came off of Spider. But. Oh, oh. That was a huge hit. Look at that gash in Coal Miner right now. That is probably the biggest hit. Oh, it, it just disappeared. But there was a huge gash in this, the bottom of Coal Miner, which disappeared, but it still counts, you know. Coal Miner's pinned up against the wall right now. Uh, Coal Miner, you can't be there, you know. Spider's gonna win this fight. Oh, Spider backs up. Coal Miner is being counted out. Oh, oh my. Oh my, ladies and gentlemen, your winner and the next challenger for the heavyweight division, Spider, 
this was an interesting fight for sure. Coal Miner just honestly couldn't do anything against Spider. Spider just controlled this fight. Look at those those hits on the left side of the uh, Coal Miner right there. And then it just kept flipping. There is nothing Coal Miner can do. Flips again. A huge hit. Look at that dance. Oh, it's so deadly looking. And then Coal Miner just gets pinned up against the wall. And Spider, all it can do is sit back, laugh, and watch it win. That is a hilarious and interesting fight by Spider. Wow, I, I'm excited. Spider has been a legit contender for a couple seasons now. And uh, finally gets a chance at becoming the heavyweight champion. On Robomania 10, Spider is going to be challenging Hammerhead for the heavyweight championship. That should be an intense fight. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, that was it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A little bit of a change in format. It's uh, about a 30, 36, 7 minute episode. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you liked anything, disliked anything. I read every comment, so don't be afraid or shy. Other than that, I will see you guys later on another episode of Robomania. See y'all later.